Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw a saber tooth tiger. It's gonna be easy, simple, and it's for beginners. So if you're a beginner, stick around. What I want you to do is I want you to grab any kind of paper, preferably just printing paper because it's disposable, uh, and a marker. Uh, any marker is completely fine. I do have a list of recommendations in the description. So if you need to pause that, go check that out. You can, otherwise follow along with me step by step. So let's get going. So first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to draw a small curve toward the front of the paper here. It's gonna be the front of the mouth. Okay. Gonna pull inward right there. It's gonna be the top part of the mouth, right? So kind of like a cat. Obviously it is a big cat. All right, very simple shapes. Pull a line out here. Then at the top of this, I'm going to draw an upside down triangle. Okay. And I'm going to draw a straight line down. Alrighty. Then I'm going to kind of draw an angular line here for the far side eye. Is it want them to be growling? We want it to be mean. And I'm gonna make that a rectangle. I'm sorry, a rectangle. A uh, triangle. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna pull a straight line for his his eye on this side. All right, like a wedge of cheese or something. Real real simple. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw those big teeth. So saber tooth tiger is really known for having like large, these two large, I think canines, right? The huge, pull down the one on the far end. A big, cool tooth. It's got a really cool skull, um, really amazing looking. Then I do the same thing on this side. Really simple, kind of very graphic shape. It's a really, really simple shape. It's awesome. Okay. Then I'm going to draw a straight line underneath. He's gonna have a closed mouth. And I'm gonna draw the far side of his face. The far side of his face is gonna come like here, here. Pulling over here and here. And I'm going to do Closer, si closer side of his face. So we're still dealing with very, very simple shapes. Going, pulling up. We're gonna go to the, the top of his head here. Maybe have like a little bump kind of thing going on, top of his head. And right here, we're gonna fill this in with the ear. And the ear is also a very triangular shape. So we're thinking in simple shapes the whole way through. So I'm thinking of a triangle here. And then inside another triangle. You're supposed to have more of a rounded ear. Uh, big cats, um, for whatever reason, always have like rounded-ish ears. Not always, but but many times have rounded-ish ears. So now we're gonna do the far end here, same way. It tends to be small cats with pointed ears. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna start drawing his body, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this, he's got like a big hunchback kind of thing, cause he's down and he's ready to attack. I'm gonna pull up. Okay, and it's gonna be an overall curve down, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a little seesaw shape there and to make it look like there's fur, I'm indicating that he's furry, down. And the reason is you don't have to draw fur everywhere, right? because uh, all the hair kind of combines and it's, it's in the same direction. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, put it like so. I, I would just kind of have a little, like these little fu furry, uh, I don't know, I guess like clumps of hair sticking out in just certain areas, usually when they turn a corner and that'll indicate that he has fur everywhere. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom of his chest, pull. Then I'm gonna pull again, because there's a little bit of a 
separation there. Then I'm going to go over here to his arm, pulling in. I'm going to start his arm over here, his front paw or leg. It's going to be a little bit bump, you know, to kind of make it look mildly muscular. Because they're probably super muscular. And I'm going to pull down into the, the, the leg first, the one the connecting to the floor. So we're still just simple lines, simple shapes, okay? If you need to pause and rewind, always do that. It's always worth it. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You can always come back to it as a recording. Um, let's go to the far side of his arm. Like the top side of his, uh, I guess, um, leg, leg arm. And I'm going to pull that straight down. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have the other, uh, basically the other far side uh, leg, arm, and I'm gonna pull maybe a little fuzzy zigzag over here as well. Pull into that. Let's get the bottom part of his his leg pulling in. So now you have his two kind of uh, kind of legs out there, his two front legs. And then I'm gonna pull a line up over here and I'm going to draw rear part of his body. I'm gonna pull down for his hind leg. This is gonna go come closer here. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna find the knee here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round this around the corner here top part of his leg and then that's going to go downward because he's going to have his legs on the floor and that's going to be downward as well he's got a small tail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw essentially just kind of a i don't know like a nub shape for his um his tail he's got a small tail here and i'm going to go with the, the paws now let's go let's do all his feet here is his paws so I'm gonna literally just draw these little arches, right? And then I'm gonna draw probably a um, the nails out of them. I'm gonna draw an extra little nub here because they have that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And I'm just gonna do three. Completely, just, and I'm gonna do the same thing back here. Three as well. Sometimes they don't, they don't have to have a nail. And, and what I, there's a, he's gonna have a far side leg, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down here. It's gonna be hidden behind this hand, but I'm just gonna, put that shape there so you understand that there is something back there and that is it that is a saber tooth cat if you want you can draw i, I kind of like his eyes blank like that it looks cool like he's in kill mode but if you really want to draw an eye on him you could kind of fill it in a little bit there just yeah that is it thank you so much i hope you had an amazing time i hopefully you followed that along if you did please hit that like button don't forget, the best thing you can do for this channel is to share it. Sharing the video invigorates the channel, invigorates me. It kind of brings life back to the whole thing, and it makes it cool to know that people are looking at it. <laughs> so thank you so much. I appreciate it, you guys. Um, also, uh, check out the link in the description. Uh, I put a lot of work into those links. There's some free tutorials. There's, uh, I, believe, uh, I believe, a head template you can download. You can download a, a free... Uh, uh, sorry about that, free ebook. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And then there's also the tools that I used in there, those links. So I work really hard on those links. Go check those out. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you in the very next video.